everyone. Uh, we are here with uh, Dr. Gabo Varka, president of the Hungarian Association of Telephone Emergency Services. Hello, Gabor. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we are here with uh, Gabor because we want to speak about this uh, Corona virus emergency and what is the meaning for the helpline, especially in, in uh, Hungary. Because the coronavirus uh, emergency has forced many countries to adopt uh, severe social distancing measures, which may create a social isolation to many people. So we focus with Kabur on the helpline service provided uh, by the Hungarian Association in this moment of emergency. So Gabor, has the Hungarian Association adopted any additional measure to implement the service during the coronavirus emergency? In Hungarian helpline uh, service, uh, in this year, uh, 50 years old, uh, we working with uh, 300 volunteers. We have uh, 18 teams, five non-stop service and uh, uh, the rest is part-time uh, group. We have three kinds of service, the mental hygienic consulting, crisis intervention, and uh, suicide prevention. In last two was more frequent in the recent time period. We have done the following action. We have asked our high risk volunteer to pause their helpline service. We have created strict hygienic uh, rule during the service. We working in the hospital or family help center. Uh, we made the meeting a lot of people when working in a helpline uh, work. It is necessary. We made it mandatory to wear protective equipment. We have stopped all kind of meeting offline. We have all online uh, since April. Nobody now made the face-to-face uh, uh, -face meeting. Uh, we uh, have created home office on call service. This is a new uh, program. Whoever is on duty can answer the calls and either their cell phone or online on call service uh, through hotline service application. This is a spe special application, the telephone uh, company, give me, this is a program. We have started home office, service two and other new extra phone number to uh, the hotline. Uh, two station working another number because full full client full callers uh, was the another the, the main uh, line no uh, 8 and 12 person can answer call in uh, some time in hungary we had about 20 press apprehenses about our available service, television, uh, newspaper, and advertised everything. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's a big implementation. <laughs> and what kind of calls do you receive in this period? Uh, I think it's three, three months together. Uh, we have about the same numbers of calls, just like before the COVID crisis, it's about 20,000 uh, calls a week, a, a month. Some of the ones information about the virus, relevant calls have increased up to uh, 60%. Mass problem are conflict with the family and problem with the isolation. Everybody uh, stay at home. A lot of people live together uh, and 40% four, of the call are emotional problem and 40% about isolation, 10% uh, about 
losing the job or work, workplace. It's very, very big problem in Hungary too. Of course. And who are the people calling? What kind of feeling do they express? Most of the calls are from people uh, uh, age uh, 56, up uh, 60 years old. Above 60, most of them has problem with isolation, far from the virus. People between 18 and 4, 46 calls as because have problems with the job, losing a job, problem with the home office. Very, very big problem in a home office. Which, which room is the father working place? Which room the, the, the child in Hungary too don't work in the school, elementary school, middle school and high school, universities, nothing. Everybody stay home today and uh, fourth group are the teenagers under 18 years they have problem with the extra time a lot of extra time cannot do anything with it no programs no teams uh, they meet extra stress uh, the future uh, and what is happened the end the free time <laughs> It's this typical teenager problem. Of course. And how do the volunteers face this moment? How do they feel? Uh, when the beginning the crisis, uh, corona crisis, most of our volunteers wanted to stop the uh, helping service. The older people stopped the work, um, but uh, we there was the time when we set up the option of home office. After that, most of them uh, wanted to continue working. A lot of people come back to service and working at homework. We have um, today about uh, half uh, volunteers than before the crisis started. Uh, and uh, we miss our staff meeting and uh, we have created online events and calendars to share information. We are expecting, uh, we are uh, uh, give a lot of information about on home office and uh, what is the new model in telephone service and the uh, app can help our volunteers to communicate with each other online. This is a new technique uh, give because uh, everybody speaking, the volunteers together uh, consulting uh, online. Of course. Uh, uh, so you, you think that uh, this uh, kind of working uh, will be also implemented in the future? Yes, yes, I think. Okay, so um, the Hungarian Association established also contact uh, with Facebook to drive uh, official information during the coronavirus emergency. What are the benefits of our callers and what are the benefits uh, for your organization? Thank you for question, very interesting question, because uh, we have connected the Facebook now to share more official information about our services. Uh, in the uh, European uh, manager of uh, Facebook uh, uh, made the contact with Hungarian Telephone Emergency Service Association and uh, we collaborated with you uh, and uh, this is a lot of uh, adverts for, for Hungarian Telephone Service and uh, the new gener generation uh, like this uh, network. And, uh, I think it's a very big uh, road, main road to uh, younger people. And uh, uh, we have the five online group, telephone group in uh, around the Hungary, Hungarian language in Slovakia, 
and uh, Ukraine, and uh, three uh, group from Transylvania, Romania. We have sent newsletter and online letters with useful information during the crisis. We have created online events or calendars to share information. Uh, we are expecting that life will change a lot in the future and this kind of helpline service will be more important for the society, I think, uh, that you for your patients, we all work for the good. <laughs> of course. Thank you so I much. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> we all hope. Thank you so much for, uh, for all this interesting information and uh, best wishes uh, for the work, for the important work you are doing uh, for uh, Hungary and also, as we heard, also for other countries that you are linked up. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye.